Hey, it's Scott Orner, Cruise Consulting, and today we're talking about First Republic Bank. First Republic is one of the dominant banks in the startup category that we focus on. And so I thought it'd be helpful for everyone to know First Republic's strengths and, and why people like working with them. And so the first one, and, and definitely the single most important reason people like First Republic, is they have phenomenal customer service. Like white glove, call you back in 10 minutes, get it done no matter what type of customer service. And that's, as I'm an entrepreneur myself, and so as an entrepreneur and someone who works with a ton of entrepreneurs, I really, really value that. There's nothing worse than sitting on hold or having to wait three days to get called back or just running to a lot of red tape at a bank. And First Republic is the anti-red tape, red tape bank. They just make things happen. They get it done. They do it with a smile. They're super courteous. So their customer service is just beyond anything I've seen in the banking industry. And really, I put it up there with like the top companies across any industry. It's really, really phenomenal. And that's one of the reasons I love First Republic. Now, there's some other great things about First Republic, though. They've made a really big investment into their mobile apps. I, I To be honest, like their mobile apps really kind of lagged uh, the market until this year. This year, they really put a lot of money in it and it's gotten significantly better to the point where I actually enjoy using it. It used to be kind of a slog and even their online portal uh, terminal was kind of a slog, but they've just made huge improvements. To, to give you some idea, like probably five years ago, we were not recommending First Republic to our startup clients because the internet portal and the mobile apps just were not up to snuff. But again, the company's just put so much money, you can tell they really care. They even, I recently met some members of their internal innovation team. So they're serious about this. They're putting a lot of money into it and it really shows in the app experience. So that's another benefit for First Republic. The next one is, is old fashioned, but they have branches. <laughs> it sounds kind of silly to say in this day and age, but having a branch you can walk into and make a deposit or handle a wire at the last minute, or even if you need to, you shouldn't really be doing this if you're a startup, but withdrawing cash or things like that is actually really helpful. There's just some things that can't be done over the phone or you don't want to scan check images in over your mobile app because sometimes it makes it hard for the account to see that kind of stuff. Just having a branch is really nice and maybe it's because I'm a people person, but again, I'm usually in a hurry. I want to get things done very, very quickly and sometimes just going to the branch is the easiest thing. And they have branches in all the major startup hubs even in some of the like high net worth hubs like Jackson Hole, Wyoming and places like that, you'll find a First Republic Bank branch. So that's another benefit. Now, there's a couple other things in that. They do some ancillary services for, for startups or founders or employees of startups that are really, really helpful. The two being mortgages. And you know, if you're working in the startup ecosystem, odds are you're not like maximizing your pay. Like you could probably be making more money at a bigger company but you've chosen to help build something and change the world. And so you typically, there's a little bit of a trade-off on salary and you usually get some equity alongside of that. And so First Republic understands the trade-off that founders make and employees make on salary. And so they're very, very flexible on mortgages. Now, they're not gonna underwrite a mortgage that you can't afford, but there's just a lot more wiggle room. And again, that customer focus really comes into play there. So that's really, really helpful, especially if you're a founder and you've probably been paying yourself under market for three or four years, that is a huge differentiator if you're trying to buy a house. Another thing along those lines is student loan financing. They First Republic has a really aggressive student loan financing or refinancing program for startup employees. And I know a bunch of cruise consulting team members have taken advantage of that. It's really, really low interest rates. And basically they're using the halo of the company that you work with, like they know you're working with a good company or a good startup. And so that factors into their underwriting criteria and allows them to be a lot more aggressive on the student loan. So I know we've made numerous announcements at Cruise that the First Republic student loan financing program is something that everyone should investigate and a bunch of people have taken advantage of that. Now, there's another aspect of First Republic that startup founders and employees don't always think about, but it's actually very important. They have a huge fund management practice, meaning they manage the capital, the bank accounts, the capital call loans for tons of venture capital funds. And so that creates a really nice synergy in that 
they know all the fund managers, all the VCs you're trying to get their attention or try to get a meeting with them. First Republic usually has a one-to-one -one relationship with them. In fact, they may they probably did their capital call loan and they may even, even have done their mortgage and their fund probably has their cash sitting at First Republic. And so they can go above and beyond and make some really high value intros for you. There's also just a nice little synergy when the VC knows that their companies are banking at First Republic. So I really, it's, it's kind of an under the radar thing, but having that fund management, fund practice at First Republic is really beneficial to really everyone in the startup ecosystem. So, so those are the big things, but I, I really want to come back as we wrap it up to just that customer centric approach. It is again, above and beyond really anything I've experienced in the banking industry. And I would put it up where with the top, you know, Nordstrom's, Neiman Marcus, Southwest Airlines, all the companies that you read about that are really famous for their customer service, First Republic is at that level and should be mentioned in the same breath as those top tier companies across the world that take customer service really, really important. So I hope that helps. Check out First Republic. We really like them at Cruise and it's, it's just a great bank to work with. Thanks.